Hey guys, I'm back again. I shot another really, really, really quick video. Um, if you have a store on Etsy.com and you are either new to Etsy or you've been selling and you're just looking for ways to generate additional revenue, um, I've got three things, three things that will help you boost your sales. Um, and again, everything that I talk about are things that I do in my shop and I do it every day. I've experienced it. Uh, I'm not reading some book and kind of regurgitating this stuff and uh, making videos to get your attention for five or six minutes. No. Uh, no. I actually have done this. These things work. They've worked for my shop. I get about 10,000 views a month. Uh, we're roughly going about three to 400 views a day um, on average. So what I'm telling you about the methods that I use, the tips that I have, they work. If you implement them and you put them into your shop, they will work. You give them time, I promise you, they will work. Everybody's results, of course, will vary because it depends on how passionate you are about it. If you are implementing these things and you're going full force straight ahead and, and you're putting a lot of time and effort, you're going to reap the benefits, period. Um, number one, make a listing for expedited shipping. Um, if you have a product and there are some customers, especially now that we're approaching the holiday season, if you are uh, creating a product and you need to offer your customers expedited shipping, um, the best way to do that is actually to create an expedited shipping listing. Um, that listing is actually going to be for um, services that you can get to there one day, overnight, that type of thing. But create an expedited shipping uh, listing. And your customers can add that to the products when they purchase it and when they check out. Um, so that will give them – that will give your shop additional revenue. Um, some people – I don't do this. Uh, I don't do this as far as adding to the shipping. Some people do add additional shipping and handling charges. Um, that you can do if you want. That's up to you. I simply charge what it costs me to ship the product from, from my shop to the customer. But again, the listing is what I'm talking about, creating the listing for that. The other one is um, gift wrapping. Uh, towards the holiday season, if you've got a product and you want to offer a special gift wrap and you want it to have it, uh, a lot of the larger stores do this online. Some of them do it for free, but most of us, uh, our names aren't Walmart. So um, unless you're that big and you can obviously offer free shipping with no expense, fantastic. But for small business owners like me and you and everyone else that sells online, um, you can offer gift wrapping and charge a little extra for that, uh, make a listing for it. So what it will do is when the customer checks out on your shop, they can add that to their cart, check out, and then when you'll see the order, you'll see that they want it gift wrapped and you can wrap it up in some type of fancy you know, box or, or uh, wrapping paper with a bow. Um, lastly, um, gift certificates, gift cards. Now, the best way to do this is I have some gift certificates on my on my store. If customers want to purchase them, they'll actually get – I will send the, the gift certificate itself, the actual paper gift certificate, to whomever they wish to have it shipped to. Um, it's a great revenue generator. It gets cash flow going because right up front you're getting a cash flow for a gift certificate for a product. Um, and then you're going to later fill that. But at least up front, you're going to get that initial – um, a few dollars, whatever it may be, five, 10, 15, whatever increments that you want to choose. Um, the other great thing is if you're looking for somebody to print your gift certificates for you, you can get that done at like Office Max, Office Depot, um, online. You can get it at Vistaprint. Um, I'm, I don't get paid to promote these people. I'm just telling you that they're just great resources. Uh, Vistaprint has a great selection of gift certificates. Get them made up, make them look professional. Uh, get a nice envelope. It, sometimes they come like embossed. You can get them embossed with gold printing and all that silly stuff. But it, it makes a difference. It does. It looks nice and it can be given as a gift. Um, and it's a great way to also – the other thing you got to think about is that a customer who comes to your shop and gets a gift certificate, they already know that you're there. So you already have a customer. They're going to send a gift certificate to a family member or friend or some other person. So you've picked up two. You have two two customers right off the bat. You gotta gotta think it that way. Um, all these extra little things that you do, when a customer can take a product and buy it from you and have it shipped to somebody else, you're already gaining additional customers. So the one that bought it from you to begin with is obviously liking your shop enough to buy the gift certificate. Then they're giving it to somebody else. Keep that in mind. So um, definitely promote your gift certificates. Again, when you make these listings on on Etsy immediately, once you've posted it and you've created the listing, you have social media buttons right on the right-hand side of your listing. There is Tumblr, Facebook, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Tumblr, Facebook, Pinterest, and I think that Twitter's on there too. Um, and immediately hit those buttons, get them posted, put them onto your account so they're out there in social media land. Um, do that to every listing, by the way. Don't add something. I would highly recommend you do this. Don't add something to your shop. If you don't plan on promoting it right then and there, just take a couple seconds. Once it's listed, click on the listing so the listing pulls up. You don't do this from the, the, the listing manager when you create the, the listing. You actually have to go to your shop and then pull up the listing like your customer would see it. Active, click on it and then add it to your social media buttons. There you go. You got Instantly, you've got all those social media sites with your product out there. Do it to every single listing that you're doing. So those three things, try it, experiment with it, play with them, add those listings to there. It'll, it'll generate extra revenue for your shop. I hope that helps. Thanks, guys.